I've had a lot of people ask me how to build a non-circulating hydroponics float valve system. And just a quick uh, description of that would be where you have a reservoir that uh, flows through a float valve into a controller bucket or directly into a grow container. And it allows you to keep a constant level uh, throughout a series of connected buckets or perhaps connected totes or even a single tote that has multiple sites for plants on top of it. Now the nice thing about this is using the non-circulating hydroponics method it does allow us to keep that constant level that keeps the roots in optimal health. Now the float valve that I'm going to use is a Carrick um, M252 and what I like about this is it uh, has a uh, compression fitting on the end of it. It allows me to take this apart on the uh, back end of the float valve. Uh, there's a uh, nut that screws on and when you unscrew this uh, be careful because there's a uh, little bushing that fits inside of it. So that's the uh, compression nut and the piece that uh, was inside is just a little plastic ring and that's what flips over the uh, tubing and it uh, compresses the uh, tube that you use goes right inside of here you just push it in and I'll show you that but also there's another nut here that uh, comes off and this nut comes all the way off this rubber piece um, slides back and forth and your controller bucket or your tote that you're going to put this into all you have to do is drill a 7 16 inch hole and slide that through compress the uh, nut here against the rubber gasket and that will keep this float valve uh, attached inside your control bucket or your tote. Uh, the nice thing about these valves they emit water here and they're good with low flow. Uh, when the water rises in the controller bucket, basically the valve comes up and it shuts off the flow of water. And as the water decreases, it kicks that water back on and gravity feeds it uh, back. One of the pieces of tubing that I like the best is from a company called Autopot and they have uh, components that go to actually a different type of hydroponic system. You can use micro irrigation tubing but uh, my tubing I'm using today is uh, from the Autopot company. So this tubing is uh, six millimeter internal diameter and I think it's um, possibly 10 mil on the outside. So this nut that you have it has a small end and a large end. You take the tubing and you stick it into the small end. It goes through. You take the bushing which is kind of cone shaped and you slide that over the tubing like that and then this is assuming that you have the float valve in already all you have to do is insert this tubing and fasten that uh, nut down and there you have it this is a nice snug fit it's watertight you could use this technology, this approach, to build all sorts of hydroponic systems. So if you're curious about uh, how I like to do things, I'll take a reservoir and I will drill a 10 millimeter hole in the base of it. Now, so far we're only using two different drill bits. The 7 16 inch is the one that allows that carrot float valve to go into a bucket. You could actually drill a hole through the side of the bucket and put the float valve into it, attach the tubing, and then the opposite end of the tube is going to go into the reservoir and I like to use a uh, quarter inch 
rubber top hat grommet. I'll show you what those look like. You know, it's got a flanged edge and it's a little narrower. So that 10 millimeter hole, all I do is I just push that through it. And then I take the tubing and I work that through it. And that's all there is. There's, there's really nothing more. And I've had great success with those not leaking. The very base of this reservoir is where you put the 10 millimeter hole and you insert the tube. Uh, the controller bucket, if you'd like to put the float valve uh, any place, I would uh, probably put it uh, about midway. And I like to get a smaller bucket if I'm using uh, a series of five gallon buckets. This is a three and a half gallon. And the reason for that is I can actually put a brick underneath of it and start out with a higher level in all of my five gallon buckets. And then as the season goes on and the plants get a little bit larger, I'll pull the brick out and I'll drop it. And what happens is, is the plants uh, then have the ability to put out more roots in those five gallon buckets and mature um, with the ability to pull up more nutrients and more gas exchange uh, because we've made an allowance to go from that much of an air gap to that much of an air gap in those five gallon buckets. It's real simple to find parts for the tubing. If you go to a hardware store, look for micro irrigation tubing. They've got uh, these four way connectors, they've got straight uh, inline connectors, they've got T fittings, they even have uh, little uh, shut off valves. So you can get uh, as fancy as you uh, want putting systems together. And the buckets that you use for growing your plants. That is a uh, three and a half inch hole saw hole. So that would be the third drill bit that we use. And if you take a 3.75 inch net cup, you can drop that right in and it will sit right on the top. Now, the media that I use doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can use uh, Coca Core. These are just glass beads, you know, it, all this does is stabilizes the plant in the top of the bucket. The roots grow through these side slots into the, the water in the connected grow buckets. Uh, there's all the necessities of what the plant needs in the water. The food, if you're using hydroponic nutrient, use half strength because Circulating hydroponics and non-circulating hydroponics have different needs. With non-circulating hydroponics, you'll find that the plants actually drink more than they eat, and so that's why you use half strength. There you have it. Feel free to go build your own equipment and have fun.